It's time to create your very own Miro board. Make sure you're logged in and let's get started. This is your account dashboard. Depending on how you use Miro, you might be a member of more than one team. You'll have the ability to create and store boards in these different teams. There are handy sections like Starred and Recents to help you find boards fast. We also have Projects. Boards can be added to projects for easy locating and sharing. In your own accounts, click this tile to create a new board. Ah, nothing like a fresh canvas in the morning. What will you do with your first board? I need to host a retro and gather feedback after our last sprint. I'm hoping to use the board to organize a new project and kick off with the team. Excellent. These all sound great. Jen, you might want to add some stickies on the board to... Oh, I see your screen now and... Whoa, looks like you're a step ahead. Yes, Matt. I whipped up the board last night right after I finished writing my novel and after baking four dozen muffins. Isn't it all beautiful? It is. Want to do a quick show and tell? Yes, would you like the recipe? Oh, you mean the board. Well, I designed this image myself and uploaded it to Miro. This label is a text box and these sticky notes are for the team to share feedback. I was super enthusiastic when- This looks great. And for those of us who are more average enthusiastic, let me show you how Jen got these elements on the board. Click the text box tool, then click on the canvas to place and type a label, title, or even entire paragraphs on your board. You have plenty of customization options like highlight color and font. Jen also uploaded an image from her desktop, and you can do that too. Click the upload button, choose the location of your file, and watch it appear. If it's on your desktop, feel free to drag and drop documents, spreadsheets, PDFs, and more. Hey, Matt, my board definitely doesn't look as good as Jen's. Robin, I have just the thing for you. First, your board doesn't have to be perfect, just useful. Have you tried templates yet? These are pre-built workspaces that are customizable and free. Here? Exactly. Now try typing in kickoff into the search bar and grab that first option. You can change colors, remove sections, or anything else you'd like. Incredible. <laughs> now can you help me add a quick process map? Sure thing. For that, you'll want to check out the shape tool. Click the shape you'd like to add to the board. Then click and drag to make it appear on the canvas. Good. Now click on the shape, or any object really, and you'll see a little blue dot. See the line trying to connect to the nearest shape? Click once to add the line. Cool. Won't be long before you're ready to share that kickoff board with the team. So let's go over a quick pre-share checklist to help you prepare. A simple three steps, if you will. First, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Mix dry ingredients. Wait, this is Jen's muffin recipe. How does she even get in here? We have keys, we have security, like. Hey Matt, we're rolling. Um, remember your pre-share checklist, frame, tidy, and lock. Frames help you organize content. Click the frames icon and choose a ratio. Then click and drag around a group of objects to put them in a portable container. Rename by double clicking on this title. Click and drag on the title to move everything inside at once. After you've framed, let's tidy. Selecting multiple objects will generate this handle which helps you auto-organize content with equal spacing. We also have guidelines to ensure your content is centered and aligned. Last step, lock anything down you don't want disturbed on the board. This shape, for instance, needs to stay put, but these stickies will be moved around during the brainstorm, so we'll leave them free. I just finished my first board. Now I'm ready for my kickoff. Well done, crew. Today you've learned the core content creation tools and you've built boards that will help you accomplish your work goals. Now, get ready to practice using those toolbars. How did she even do it? She's like a wizard or a magician or something. There she is. Jen? <laughs> She's in the building. <laughs> She's in the building. You will love these muffins.